know it's in here somewhere. It's not that. It's not my business card. Where is it? Are we rolling again? Y'all, you gotta tell me when we're rolling. It's fine, it's fine. I am so excited for you to be back with us this week. I'm still Miss Katie, and I am still so excited that you've tuned in to Chum Children Online Sunday School. You're probably wondering, why do I have this bag with me? Well, this is my Attitude of Gratitude bag. I got a lot of stuff in here. If you know me, I'm always carrying a bag. There's usually tissues and hand sanitizer and sometimes crayons. I've got a lot of stuff in here, but I've got some really special things in here that I wanna see if you can frown through. Yeah, you heard me. I want you to see if you can frown the entire time that I'm showing you the contents of my Attitude of Gratitude bag. You see, there are days where even before 10 o'clock in the morning, I go through five different emotions. I might be super happy, usually super sleepy. Um, I might be super hungry. Sometimes I might get grumpy. It happens. There are so many different emotions we can have, but I want to see if you can stay frowning and not smile. Are you up to the challenge? Buckle up. Let's get started. Thank you, Cart. <clears throat> Hello, chum children. I would like to thank you for joining us each week, for sending your yay God moments, and for being kind to others. Sincerely, Miss Katie. That's me. Are you still frowning? Not even a little smile? Okay, here, here we go. Attitude of gratitude, number two. I have a present. Oh, I love presents so much. I hope you love presents too. Let us see what is inside. Oh yeah. I just use that for decoration. Ignore this one. Ah, here it is. What do we have inside? It's a welcome sign with a heart on both sides because I am so thankful that you come and let me come into your homes every week to talk to you. You are welcoming me into your homes and I welcome you to talk to me. What a wonderful gift. Are you smiling yet? Seriously? I have one more and it's not even in my bag. It is dancing. Oh, you have to not smile. Stay with your straight face while I dance. I have my handy dandy cell phone to start the music. Ready? No smiling. Not even a little, not even a little. Go. Are you smiling? You did it? Whew. Good for you. And if you did smile, well, I can't be mad about that because we are so excited and we get to talk about God, which is really fun to do. So let's get starting and let's talk about God. Whew, my goodness, that dancing, it put me out of breath a little bit, but it's fine. All right, so we have our yay God moments. They're the times that we get to be so thankful for all the things that God has given us in our life. And trust me, I have a lot to be thankful for, and I hope you do too. Now, normally, I go and I listen to the kids' yay God moments, but not today. Today is a different day, and I wanted to hear from 
Miss Mandy. Now you're probably wondering, who's Miss Mandy? Or you're like, hey, it's Miss Mandy. Either way, Miss Mandy is my super amazing, awesome, special helper. She loves flowers and pumpkins and fall. Fall is one of her favorite things to look for God around her. And that's her yay God moment. She loves looking for God's creations all around her, especially in the fall. So thank you, Miss Mandy, for sending me that super special yay God moment. And remember kids, if you have a yay God moment, tell a grown up and they will tell me. All right, I did a lot of dancing, but now it's time for you to do some dancing. So I want you to get off your feet and let's go and start singing and praising God and saying thank you. All right, let's dance. Every time I'm feeling down, you pick me up. I'm grateful for the way you've been a friend to me. Sing. that you get to dance to our thank you song all this month. I'm really enjoying it and I hope you are too. You know what else I really enjoy? Our friends John and Brandon. Man, they have some really funny things that they do, but even more than just being funny, they talk to us about some really important God moments. And I love that and I hope you do too. So let's hear what John and Brandon have to say. Check them out. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, the real hero of tonight's game. That's, that's me. Uh, it was do or die time out there tonight, but John did what do John does. He, uh, he wins. He, he brought his A game. He, uh, he came to play. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, uh, you know, uh, you just, 
You just gotta take it to the next level, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go out there and step it up. I mean, when your back's against the wall, you overcome adversity with a uh, tremendous amount of uh, athleticism. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, it, it wasn't a bed of roses out there tonight, no. But uh, sometimes you, you gotta look through the rain to find the rainbow. Um, when life gives you lemons, you, you make lemonade. Uh, yesterday is history, but tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. And that's why they call it the present. <laughs> hmm? No. Uh-uh. Never give up uh, is what I'm trying to say. Never uh, give up. Never, uh, ever, ever, ever give up. Um, uh, what, uh, give up? No. No, never. Uh, did not think about it ever, never. To give up is never, ever. And I never, ever uh, gave up. Don't give up. That's what I'm trying to say. All I asked is how your game of solitaire went. Uh, no more questions? Thank you. Everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and welcome to the So and So Show. Say, John. Yes, Brandon. Hey, how, was, how was your day yesterday? Uh, it was good. Oh, yeah? Anything particularly fun or interesting that our viewers might enjoy hearing about? Um, oh, I had to do the same load of laundry three times because I kept forgetting to add soap to the machine. No, anything else? Our soccer game? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, nah, no, nah, you know what? No one wants to hear about that. No, come on, tell him. Tell him, tell him, please, come on. Okay, fine. Uh, so yeah, Brandon and I joined a soccer league and got placed on the same team. And <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up, John. We had our first game yesterday, which was my first ever soccer game I've never played before. And I was awesome. Tell him what I did, John. Tell him, you know the lingo. You've been playing your whole life. Tell I, him. I don't really think they were. I scored the winning goal. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, my chair. <laughs> well, yeah, that's all right. Uh, no, I did. I did. I did. I, I kicked the ball and it went into the, uh, the goal thingy, right? Listen, I, I mean, I mean, the ball bounced off your foot. Yeah. Bounced yeah. off your foot. Huh? and then went into the goal, I sure. Know. But really, you just got lucky because the goalkeeper sneezed right when you, when the ball bounced off of your foot, and that's why he was unable to make the save. No, I, the goalie didn't sneeze. That's the I, only possible explanation, Brandon. There's no way you can score a goal on purpose. Trust me, I know the difference between somebody who shot okay. a goal on purpose and someone who made a lucky shot. Okay, that was not luck, my friend. That was pure skill. Come on, don't feel bad, kiddo. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Did, did, <sighs> did you just call me kiddo? You heard me, chief. Look, just because I'm better at soccer than you is no reason for you to get all... Better? I'm jealous. Better? Yeah. You think I, you're I better than me at soccer? You, you, who's never I even mean, seen... You thought I, you, you, you threw you the ball. The okay, you know what? You know what? Stand up right now. What? My, me, why? Just do it. All right, oh, okay. All right, it's time <laughs> for a penalty kick challenge. I want you to prove that your winning goal wasn't just a lucky shot. Okay. Hands. What? Forget it. <laughs> I want you to show that your pure skill and get a shot. No, you have to wait for the whistle. I don't. Oh, oh. <gasps> Hands. What? Hands. <laughs> On the line. Wait for the whistle. Right. Are you gonna blow the whistle? No. It's not fair. Why is that not fair? Because I played soccer my entire life and you play it for one game and you score the winning goal. And then everybody's cheering for you and they start chanting your name and it should be my name. They're chanting my name, my name, my name, my oh, name. Come on, John. 
Maybe they'll chant your name next time, buddy. Listen, hey, if you want any pointers, I'd be happy to take 15 minutes. Take just 15 minutes. Up. I would like to teach you. I can mold. You don't have. You don't have to be. It's Bible story time with Cameron. Hey, guys. Hey, Cameron. Hey, it's been great having you this month while our friend Kellen's been away. Yeah, totally. What do you have for us today? Today, we've got a parable that Jesus told. A parable, if you didn't know, is like a story with a lesson. You can read this parable yourself in the book of Matthew chapter 20. Or you can stick around and watch me tell it with the help of the so-and-so show players. <laughs> Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who owned land. Ha, look at my beautiful vineyard. <laughs> I wonder what a time it is. <laughs> ah, this is the first thing in the morning. <laughs> I should hire people to work for me today. So he went out and hired people to work in his vineyard. He agreed to give them the usual pay for a day's work. Hey, uh, do you want to work for me today? I'll pay you the usual pay for a day's work. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I'm going the vineyard is that way! Oh, about nine o'clock that morning, the owner went out again to find more workers. Hey, hey, you. If you work in my vineyard, I'll pay you what's right. Sounds good. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. You look like the same guy I hired this morning. Uh, no, 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 different guy because I got a different hat. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, the owner went out again at noon. And again at three o'clock. And the owner went out one last time at five o'clock when the workday was almost over. Oh, you don't have a job yet? No, Daddy-O, nobody's hired me yet. I'll hire you. Groovy. Right on. When evening came, it was time for the workers to be paid. The workers who were hired at five o'clock were paid first. And here's the usual day's pay for you. Groovy. And here's the usual day's pay for you. And here's the usual day's pay for you. And here's the usual day's pay for you. Cool. Then it was time to pay the workers who were hired the first thing that morning. They saw what the other workers had been paid and they were getting excited. Whoa, man. If he's paying them that much for only working part of the day, I'm gonna get a whole lot more money. <laughs> and here is the usual day's pay for you. Yeah. Wait, what? No, this is the same amount that you paid that guy. You hired that guy at five o'clock. He's only been here for like an hour. I have been in that hot sun all day long. I should get way more than this. My friend, I'm being fair to you. <gasps> Did you not agree to work for the usual day's pay? Uh, well, I mean, I want to give the one I hired last the same I gave you. Do I not have the right to do what I want with my own money? Well, I, I mean... Take your money and go. And that, my friends, is how Jesus' parable ends. Give it up for the so-and-so show players. Good story, Cameron. Yeah. Didn't you say it was supposed to have a lesson at the end? Sure. I think that story can tell us a lot about what it means to have gratitude. Look at the worker who was hired first. He was so focused on what the other workers were getting paid, he forgot to be grateful for his own pay. Yeah, he had a lousy attitude. He did. But we do too sometimes, right? We want what other people have, and when we don't get it, we complain and say it isn't fair. Yeah. Yeah. Or when we do have what other people want, we brag and show off and try to make other people feel bad. Yeah. 
I think the important thing to remember is that God has given all of us so much. We just need to try and be grateful for it. Right as always, Cameron. Thanks. Anytime. See you guys later. Bye, Cameron. John, I think we might need a little attitude adjustment. I know. I mean, maybe my soccer goal was a lucky shot. I, I shouldn't have bragged so much. And I should have been more grateful. I mean, we won the game because of you. I'm grateful for you, John. And I'm grateful for soccer. And also you. Reveal the question! Oh, what is keeping you from being grateful? Yeah, what are some things that can get in the way of our gratitude? Yeah, think on it. Chew on it. Chat on it. And we will catch you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this was the So and So Show. They'll be doing this in 10 years. <laughs> Thanks, John and Brandon. You know, even grown-ups have a hard time dealing with what's fair and what, what's not. It just happens. So kids, if you struggle with that too, you are not alone. But here's the thing, God loves us and gives us a chance to adjust our attitudes. Now what that means is we can take a situation that we're not happy with and we can change it and change the way we look at it so we can be happy about it or just be more positive. We don't have to be jumping up for joy about it, but we can be positive instead of being grumpy all the time. You know what I'm not grumpy about? The fact that we get to have our friend Caleb come back and tell us another true God story from the Bible. So let's go and listen to him now. Hey, Caleb. Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and I'm so thankful that you've shown up to see my Bible. Whether you check it out online or on paper, the Bible contains 66 books, and each one is filled with God's words written down by dozens of people over hundreds of years. Through these words, God's Spirit can speak to each one of us today. I'm so thankful for this gift God's given us, especially because the Bible shares some incredible stories of gratitude. Jesus, the master storyteller, spins a tale about a man who owns a vineyard loaded with ripe grapes. Early in the morning, the owner hires a couple workers to pick grapes for fair pay. Then he brings on more workers throughout the day. But at quitting time, everyone gets the same size paycheck. The early workers cry foul, but instead of adjusting their checks, the owner tells them to check their hearts. So just like Jesus' story told us, God gives us everything. And you know what? Everything we have is because of God. We didn't do anything to deserve all that we have, but God loves us so much, He gets to choose what He gives to us and freely gives to us. And that's something that's really amazing. So rather than focusing on things that we don't have and spending our whole day be really grumpy, I mean, that just ruins a day. We can adjust our attitude and change that negative into a positive and find something that makes us really happy. And that's something that's really amazing that we get to do, that we get to see all the things that God has given us 
and be really thankful for it. Another thing I'm really thankful for is my brain because I can use it for our memory verse. We get to have pieces of God in our heart and we get to memorize these things that we can tell ourselves all throughout the day, especially when we're having those really grumpy days. I totally do that all the time. Have a grumpy day and then I go to my Bible and I read something and remember that God loves me. So let's practice this memory verse together. We've done it for a couple weeks now, so if you remember it, that's awesome. If you're not there yet, totally okay, because we're gonna do it together. So I'll say it once. If you remember it, say it with me. If not, we can say it together afterwards. Are you ready? <clears throat> Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love continues forever. Psalm 136, one. All right, let's do it again, but do it with a lot of energy, okay? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love continues forever. I really love this verse, and I'm so glad that I get to share that with you this entire month. I know that next month is gonna be really great too, but this one is really good just to be thankful for. Another thing that we can do, like I've said for the past couple weeks, is take time to thank God. Remember, He has given us so many things and we can say thank you for all that we have and not focusing on the things we don't have. So let's take this moment to close our eyes, quiet our hearts, fold our hands, and let's talk to God. God, thank you so much for helping us to be thankful for all the things that we have in our life. Of course, there are things that we want that we might not have. Maybe it'll come later, maybe it'll never come. But God, help us to remember that you have given us the things that we need and you have a plan for us. You know exactly what we need and how our life needs to go and you love us and you're always with us. God, help us to remember this week, not to focus on the things we don't have, but to focus on what we do and take the time to say thank you to you. Thank you to our family and our friends and everyone around us. I hope and I pray that this week is a great week for all the kids who are watching. It's in your name we pray, shout it with me, amen. All right, we have our final song and then we only have one more week in November. Where did the time go? Remember, every week we post our videos Friday at noon, so you can check it out whenever you want after that time, or you can go back and watch it again later in the week. I hope you do, because I hope you have fun dancing and singing and maybe watching our friends John and Brandon, or Caleb too. All right. Thank you so much. I love you. I miss you and enjoy our last song and dance together. Bye everyone. You are a friend. You help me win when no one else is on my side. You're always there. That's not fair Kept me from trying to run and hide So I thought, so I thought That I should let you know Make me smile, I say the words cause I have learned